which of course is about despising the poor. In other words, they have parties celebrating how they're hurting the poor. They're enjoying it. They're laughing about it. That's what this club is about, that he went through all of this to join. He didn't go through all of this hazing so that he could become a great person. He did this so that he could join a club that mocks the struggles of the underclasses. That's David Cameron for you. He was also profusely fond of smoking marijuana, who cares, in his college days and may have also dabbled in cocaine, depending on who you ask. So, pig doinker. <sighs> That's great. So what we're going to do is we can't afford to mail uh, the ping doinker here, his very own, um, the black mirror, his very own dunce cap. But we can give him, let me get this up here, give him the runner-up award. And that's very rare. But he's getting this sent to him right here. Look at it. And here's what it says. The runner-up dunce cap of the month award. Uh, Christelle, because I used the F word, wishes to say that she did not write, write this. I did. While not known to send dunce caps overseas from time to time, a story that occurs over the great drink from the U.S. is simply so stupid that it cannot be ignored. I write, such is the case with you, Mr. Cameron, and your pig fucking ways. We at the Correct Views hereby give you the very rare runner-up dunce cap of the month award. If you had lived in the USA, you would have been a sure winner, but fear not, if you keep sticking and doinking dead pigs, then you will get more than a dunce cap, we promise Oink, oink. And that, friends, it brings us to the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. That's right. Who has won the Dunce Cap? dum dee dum dee dum dee All right. Uh, Infowars, Obama's EPA warns. Now get ready. Warns. That sunlight is dangerous to plants. You know, if I wanted to make up a truly ridiculous story, I don't think I could have found anything nearly as stupid as this. And that's why the EPA wins this award. The U.S. Environment, this is Mikhail Phelan, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency warned against the danger posed to plant life by sunny days. Tuesday in a highly criticized post on Twitter. You think sunny, sunny days are good for plants? Not always. Sunlight causes ozone ooh, to form, which harms foliage and weakens trees. How did they ever survive? As the Obama administration prepares to finalize strict new rules regarding ground level ozone this week, how coincidental, the EPA, I'm sure it had nothing to do with it, has taken to social media to point out the scourge of sunlight on foliage and trees. A link sent out with the tweet likely aimed at explaining the harmful effects of sunlight on plant life redirects users to a dead page of the EPA. So they were so ashamed of it, they took it down. Twitter users noticing the absurdity of the EPA highlighting the alleged danger of sunlight as the world faces numerous legitimate environmental issues such as Fukushima. They were mercilessly mocked in the agency in response. Uh, Anthony Bailey, I applaud the EPA for having the guts to stand up to Big Sun. Razor, uh, almost as bad as someone who pollutes 3 million gallons of arsenic-tinged wastewater into a home of Native Americans and bald eagles. Very true. We covered that. Um, gold, golden Perp, you guys should issue a regulation that bans this sunlight thing. And of course, a rusty 98 UM sunlight tax in 321. While the EPA, it goes on, touts itself as a lead defender of the environment, the agency has illustrated a, in countless examples of its far more concern with bureaucracy and insider dealings in protecting nature. After the agency polluted the Animus River with more than 3 million gallons of toxic waste last month, again, the EPA officials refused to provide data to the press to the extent of the damage in an attempt to cover up the disaster. Meanwhile, sunlight was killing plants everywhere. Similar to their attack on life-giving sunlight, the EPA also showed its disdain for water. After Wyoming rancher recently faced $16 million in fines for doing what? He bought a pond where on his own property. 
So friends, is there any reason or wonder why the EPA wins the dunce cap of the month award? I'm going to read you their award. It's going to be sent to them. All right, that's Dave Cameron's. It's going to be sent to them. Just like the uh, dunce cap is going to be sent to the EPA along with this. And I'll show you the dunce cap in a minute. The dunce cap of the month award. This dunce cap, dunce cap I write of the month award goes to the EPA for not only being too slow of mind to admit that man is not warming the planet, that the planet has not warmed in at least 15 years, but for actually publishing data that goes to suggest that sunny days are bad for plant life. Man has not warmed the planet and has nothing to do with any warming nor cooling that has or will occur on the planet due to anything that he has done. Is it any wonder that Ron Paul wanted to get rid of you idiots at the EPA who just won the Dunce Cap of the Month Award? And here is, friends, the Dunce Cap that Christelle has created. It says Dunce in the front. And she's clever this time. Look at the pretty little sun. Um, sun plus plants equals death to plants. Plants require darkness to grow and blossom. Oh, she knew. I don't know how she knew, but she did. Plants get their nourishment from the moon, she wrote. What's next? Banning dirt. That one was mine. And plants, of course, she writes, do not need CO2. So, friends, you are listening to the correct views. We mail all of this to the idiots that have won. I trust you to call the other idiots, call them out, and let them know in absolutely no uncertain terms that you think they're idiots. Friends, you are listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange doing a very long political commentary for the media speaks. I was exhausted before I started, so thank you for tuning in, friends. If you want to donate, you can do so at The Correct Views on Hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Good night, friends. God bless.